Hey party people, how's it going? Well, yesterday's video we talked about the best form of cardio being the elliptical if you do it right. Otherwise, running is awesome, rowing is great as well. But the elliptical is a great alternative for most individuals because again, it's very low impact on your body. It generates a lot of heat and it's awesome. I mean, if, if you do it properly. So today, I'm actually heading out to Mexico for two weeks. I'm really looking forward to this because uh, it's like snowing and, and cold here in Canada. So. We're actually taking off uh, in a couple hours to the airport. We're going to Mexico for two weeks. Don't worry, I'll still be in touch with you because there's Wi-Fi down there as well. So I'll shoot some videos from the beach and we're taking Oscar down to, you know, uh, just kind of get away for a bit. It's, uh, it's, been, it's been a long couple of months, but a good couple of months. But before I go, I still, I've, I've promised you this video, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the goods. So before I get into the biggest single mistake that most people are making on the elliptical machine, I want to tell you uh, I want to actually kind of illustrate this to you with a couple examples. So last week I was in the gym, and in our gym we got some treadmills, and beside the treadmills we have a couple ellipticals. And unfortunately, above all of that are like flat screen, flat screen, flat screen, flat screen TVs, so you can't actually get into your zone without watching TV. So I ended up going to the gym, taking the remote and turning off the TV in front of me because it just annoys me. Plus the TV's so high up that you're like cranking up your neck, and it's, it's not good as, as you're running or you know doing whatever you're doing. So anyways, I'm on the treadmill, you know, doing my stuff, warming up, getting into my runs, then I start doing some interval training. So I'm only on there for 20 minutes, just like cranking it out. And I'm just like busting up, the, busting up a storm here, sweating, I'm just huffing and puffing. And these two ladies, maybe in their 30s, a little bit heavier set, come on the elliptical beside me. So there's, you know, the, the two ellipticals beside me, that, you know, they're on there. They get on, they grab the remote, they started looking for their favorite TV show on the on the on the TV as they're on the elliptical. So I'm here. So it was it was an interesting contrast. Not to say that I'm what I do is the best way to do things, but I'm just, I'm just as an example, I want to show you the contrast of, of why people get results and why people don't get results. I'm on the treadmill, I'm busting things out, high intensity, low intensity, high intensity, low intensity, using my intervals. Beside me on the elliptical, these two ladies, nice and easy, nice and easy. I don't think. I saw a bead of sweat on them during the whole time they were there. So I did my interval training, went over to hit my weights afterwards, came back, finished off with some light, light cool down stuff. They're still on the elliptical, watching their show, talking it up, you know, not burning a sweat, not doing anything. What the heck? Stay home if that's what you're gonna do. Okay, that, it's, it's as simple as that. Sure, it's a little bit better than sitting on the couch, but why would you work out if you're not gonna make the most of it? And I, I think I posted this on Facebook uh, this past week. Nike, I was watching a soccer game, and Nike had this huge advertisement across the, the sidelines. And I thought it was amazing. It was a slogan that said, whatever you do, make it count. So true. If you're going to work out, make it count. Otherwise, don't even bother. You're wasting your money. You're wasting your gym membership. You're wasting your time. Okay? I'm very passionate about this, as you can tell. It really annoys me. So... That's one example okay, of, of, what I've, of what I noticed last week. Now, a couple months ago, uh, actually, this is a while ago now, when we lived in Toronto, we used to go to this other gym, which is a little bit more, more upbeat and busy. People from the corporate world, you know, come into, you know, work out and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. So, again, I'm working out, I'm on the treadmill warming up, beside me, and I'm just, this, I'm like losing my mind at this point, because this guy beside me is on the elliptical, and he's talking on his cell phone. I don't know if he was like some busy corporate guy or whatever, you know, whatever his situation was. But again, he's talking on his cell phone, just kind of moseying along on the elliptical. Listen, if that's what you're gonna do, talk on your cell phone. When you're done on your cell phone, come back to the elliptical and actually do the work. Okay? Or how about another scenario? Same gym, and again, you could replace this gym with any other gym in the world. It happens all over the place. A um, young girl, you know, mid-twenties probably, grabs her favorite, you know, People magazine, gets on the elliptical, puts up the magazine, and again, what do we see? Not even the arms this time, because now her hands need, need to be used to turn the page. So she's on the elliptical, just, you know, nice and easy, the hands are on the handles. She's now moving the arms, reading her magazine about, you know, Kim Kardashian or whatever nonsense is going on in Hollywood. She spends an hour on the elliptical reading this magazine. Again. What is going on with all of this nonsense? This is stuff that 
uh, I don't know. I mean, this obviously you can tell really annoys me. And this is the biggest mistake people are making. There's actually two big mistakes. This is the biggest one. People are using the elliptical as a, as a form of light exercise. So they think they're actually exercising when they're not doing anything because they're using it at the same time as other technology or distractions. Okay, they're not making their workout count. The second thing, and the, if you do the second thing right, you can't actually do those other three things. You can't watch TV, you, um, you maybe you could watch TV, but you can't read, you're not gonna be talking on the phone for sure. And the biggest thing, so here's the thing, the second thing and the biggest mistake most people are making on the elliptical is that they are not using resistance, okay? On the elliptical, if you start moving quickly, okay, so you start moving quickly, the faster you start moving, because it's a flywheel, that flywheel is going to use that momentum to continue moving you. So you're not actually doing the work. If you move quickly on the elliptical, which you should, there's obviously a lot of different protocols you can you follow, so you're using interval training, fast and slow, fast and slow, which is the best way to do it in less time, let's say you're moving fast. If you don't increase the resistance, you're not doing the work because the flywheel that momentum is propelling you, okay? So you need to increase the resistance. So you're now actually working with your arms and your legs. And if you're on, ellipt on an elliptical that has an inclination, increase the incline, damn it. Because now you're gonna be working more against gravity. So you're getting double the resistance. And that, my friend, is how you get the most out of the elliptical. Cross-country skiing, as we looked at yesterday, is the most effective way of improving your VO2 max and that's burning calories. And that's because you can't really cheat when you're cross country skiing outside, okay? You're just, you're, you have to move, right? On the elliptical, it's different. It's not the same, it's, it's close, but it's not exactly the same unless you do things properly. You need to increase that resistance and if you can, increase the inclination. If you do one or two of those things, I guarantee you, you will burn more calories and improve your VO2 max greater and faster than any other form of cardio you could ever want to do. And if you do it in combination with interval training, boom, you're done. It's like game over. There's no competition, okay? So a couple of rules of thumb, if you're on the elliptical or for, for matter, you know, again, we're talking about improving your aerobic capacity and burning fat, same thing pretty much, okay? If you're on the elliptical, after your warm up, you should be getting into different types of challenges or interval protocols whereby you are sweating, you are dripping sweat, you are out of breath, there's no way you can talk on the phone, you don't even want anyone to come up and, and bother you because you're so focused and you can't even talk. That's, that's where you wanna be. And because of that intensity, you can't maintain that type of intensity for an hour. Right? So you're not on, on the elliptical for an hour just kinda of like moseying along, you're, you're working, you're focused, you're making a count, you're on there for 20, 30, maybe 40 minutes most. Okay, that is the key. The elliptical is great, but remember, you need to use resistance as you increase your speed. And if you can use that in combination with interval training, you will win, okay? So that is the biggest mistake people are making on the elliptical. That is how you overcome it. And tomorrow, um, I'm gonna share something else really, really cool with you that I know is going to uh, make a big difference for you. So check your email tomorrow morning because uh, we have a very, very cool thing going on. And there you go. So I gotta get ready, I gotta head off to the airport. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll shoot a video for you uh, first thing when we land, you know, some nice palm trees and some nice warmth. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow, have a great day. And um, here we go.